In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to introduce you to the Transitions Room. Oftentimes in professional film, the transitions are so subtle that we don't know they're there. But we do need them. Let me show an example. I'm going to take two clips and drag them into the first track of my timeline. And now I'm going to move over here. The first clip shows me uh, two guys in the garage. The second is simply a lake scene with no people. So I'll preview this and see how you feel when you move from one scene to the other. Not much explanation. It's, it's rather abrupt. Now there are times in professional filmmaking when you want a, a shocking transition from one scene to another. But oftentimes you want something more subtle, something that says, now we're moving either forward or backward or sideways uh, to a different scene, a different group of characters in the same movie, what have you. So we use transitions for that. The transitions icon is over on the left side. It's the box with the lightning bolt. And this gives you a group of transitions that you can use to go from one area to another. To apply a transition, all you need to do is click on it, and you see the preview window, whichever one you're, you're clicking on, it will show you. I'm going to use the blur. I'm going to click here and drag it down and drop it between the two scenes. Now the default size for the transition is two seconds. Uh, we'll show you a little bit later how you can change that. So I'm going to move my, my uh, time character here and we'll look at the end of the first clip and the beginning of the second with the transition in place. Okay, you have a visual clue that something is coming. Now if I want to click on the transition, I can remove it by pressing the delete key or pressing uh, the icon for the garbage can that will remove it. But I have two other options. I can change how long it is by clicking on duration and you see it's two seconds and I can go ahead and either put my mouse over uh, any of the time characters and change that to uh, three seconds or I can use the up and down arrow. I'll make it a little longer. The other thing I can do is I can modify it. And when it comes to modifying, there's basically two kinds of behavior. There's the overlap behavior and the cross behavior. Now what's the difference? In the overlap behavior, I see the very end of the first clip and the very beginning of the second clip at the same time controlled by my transition. In the cross, I have the first clip totally ending at the middle of the transition and the second, cl uh, second clip beginning at the middle of the transition. Sometimes the differences are hard to detect, but let me show you uh, what the, we're in a crossfade right now, as it's called. And I will uh, move the, my playhead back a little bit here. And I'll click it again and see, see if you can detect it. Okay, you notice we did not have a little bit of both clips at the same time. I'll click back on here and click Modify, and we'll use the other option, which is Overlap. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is click back here. You notice the transition now is all on the first slide, at least visually, and watch what happens. Okay. I found it hard to tell the difference in this particular case, but there are two different ways in which this happens to work. And so I can modify the transitions. Now there's some transitions that won't let you do them just because of the way they're built. Most scenes in most movies use subtle transitions. They might use a blur. Um, another common one that you could see here is uh, something like the fade. I'm going to click here and we'll delete it. You can't have two applying at once. I'll just drag the fade down here between the two. And you can see again, it gives you a visual clue, but it's not incredibly distracting. Okay, and it fades one to the other. Um, there are some extremely interesting <laughs> and, 
uh, uh, transitions that come built in and you can download more. Here's another example of one that's somewhat unusual. Okay. And so if, if you are more on the creative side, um, you can do as, as many in, uh, interesting transitions between your cuts or your scenes or your clips as you want. And uh, I encourage you to go ahead and experiment. I'll give you another one here that you can see that's uh, slightly dramatic. Okay. That might be good for, say, a dream scene or something like that or a flashback. But uh, so I would encourage you, if, if you want to have a professional look, to be very careful about some of the rather strange or dramatic ones <laughs> that, that are out there. There are a lot of them that uh, come together. And you can see as I put my mouse over them, you can begin to guess what they'll look like when you apply them in the real world. But transitions are important. And they smooth your movie, they, they shape the mood and flow of your video, and we hope you uh, experiment with them and uh, see what you can do to make interesting transitions helpful and not draw too much attention to themselves, but keep the flow of your uh, video to move forward as you use PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.